Hello everyone. Well, I just did some I think it's called introspection. I'm trying to like I'm trying to say certain words. But I did some self reflecting about myself, about certain situations and things of that sort. And wow, I have learned so much. Not only have I healed a whole lot, but I'm doing a lot better as well. Because what I feel is that a lot of people do not self reflect. They don't. They don't self-reflect on their actions. They don't self-reflect on their own emotions and what they feel about certain things. Now, when it comes to many areas of my life, I have healed. Thank the Lord for it. Truly, sometimes he has used other people as a, I guess, catalyst in some way to help me transform into a better version of myself. So I can not only, now I can spot toxic behavior in other people and what to look out for, but also that of not only what not to do and what not to put up with, because self-respect is huge. Don't allow people to mistreat you, to use you, and abuse you. And if someone does that, if someone is deceiving you, if someone is doing toxic behavior, it is not your fault. Them stalking you is not your fault. Them harassing you in whatever fashion it may be is not your fault. Them being toxic, using manipulative wording and tactics is not your fault. It's their fault. They are toxic, evil, wicked people. Who most likely will never change until they self reflect and seek help. And granted, some of those people will claim that they are part of the body of Christ when they are not. They're very toxic. They will misuse the scriptures for their own benefit and manipulate you into feeling bad. Yes, the heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. But guess what? God also gives people over to their delusions. How do you know that delusion isn't them assuming they're saved? As they twist scripture and things of that sort. And I'm talking about a lot of people that I've already mentioned many times on this channel beforehand. And I'm talking about other people too. And just know, there's a lot of liars and deceivers out there. But just remember, you are also toxic at one point or another. And sometimes in certain t situations, you can still be toxic. Because you haven't healed or learned from that situation yet. Until you actually self-reflect and you learn. What I just learned correlates onto the situation that well, I spoke about beforehand. That correlates onto Dana and her stalking and harassment of the past and her bullying. I have actually just now let it fully go because I had to feel those emotions. That's actually what it is for me, for and maybe for a lot of people. For myself, I have to really feel the emotions, like if I was betrayed or this, that, etc. And, and I'm talking about any situation. The intense emotion, because of that, I have to allow myself to feel that. And when I do, ooh, it, it really hurts my heart. It's like, type thing. But it's like, it's really good. Because as I'm feeling it, I'm able to release little by little. But now, like, earlier, it was a lot of emotion. I, w I was just, like, releasing it. It's like, I need to feel this. I need to allow myself to actually feel this. So not only can I let it go, but it will no longer bother me anymore. Like, truly bother me. And I can actually stay with, like, no anxiety, no, like, this, that, like... I wasn't fearful of Dana, but I did still allow the past to haunt me in some way, which was making me sick in some way in the concept of stress. I was very stressful because of that situation, but I'm not anymore. I am learning to let things grow, reflect, learn on it, and I need to feel the emotions, whatever form of emotion it may be, in each and every single one of those situations and let it go and also just feel like it's not my fault because of their toxic behavior they're just toxic people but it's not my fault 
And for a long time, I actually did blame myself for Dana stalking me, but it's not my fault. I indirectly, so and sometimes even even though I don't want to admit it, I did indirectly blame myself for her even harassing me and bullying me. And it wasn't just Dana; it was Melanie, and it was a whole bunch of whole whole bunch of people from my first workplace, Ruby Tuesday. It wasn't just them; it was like that group of people. There was one guy and like Melanie, her mother, Dana, um, Michelle. Michelle actually hit me with a door once, but whatever. And Melanie would just, they were just all toxic. I mean, and in, in truth, if I ever see them in person, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to look them dead in the face and say, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you. Because here's the thing. Even though, and I've always stated this, even years ago. No matter what one has gone through, it does not justify toxic behavior and toxic actions. And also being able to self-reflect is a major thing that a lot of people cannot do. A lot of people cannot do that. And it's true. They don't. A lot of them don't. Shall they, shall it be because they don't want to? Or they're trying to always put them in the role of, oh, poor me. Look what I've been through. This, that, etc. But they don't self-reflect. They don't heal to overcome. Now, granted, for me, in a lot of situations, it was always God that helped me to overcome in those situations. To see, he would use people to be like, hey, look. And it's like, oh, I see, I see. Um, My mother actually helped me to be like, you need to let this go because you you get all riled up. You get stressed out and this, that, et cetera. And it's like, yeah, that's actually very true. And then I started speaking about like how it made me feel. And that's when it clicked. It's kind of like the therapist I had long ago. Where she said, you have to feel the emotions to be able to release it. And she's right. Like, she she actually is a really smart like, therapist. I think she also dealt with, like, one of her specialties was trauma. So she's really good in that area. And, uh, like, even though I don't really recommend therapists, like, I would actually recommend her if because it is true you have to feel those emotions now granted i will actually the first the first thing i would actually offer and be like have you ever thought coming to the lord truly broken contrite this is what the lord has done in my life this is how he has healed me this is what he's done for me this that etc and then i'd bring up <laughs> the therapist that i had long, long ago because she really was she, she was great she was great um but yeah like my mother has, uh, she said something to me about the situation, and I had to self-reflect. I see, I'm really good with self-reflection, because I love self-reflection. Let's see. It's like, wow, that is toxic. Because, like, if you're holding on to, like, a lot of stressful events, and you're not letting it go, you're not feeling it, you can become very, uh, toxic. And I think that also added on to the like different types of attachment styles that people have like if you have like a avoidant one you don't really want to feel your emotions a lot and you can push people away because they're like they're trying to get you to like open up in a way and you're like nah <laughs> it's it's interesting but i'm also learning not to be shameful of the strong emotions that i have at times upon situations and upon this that etc because sometimes i do have like deep emotions and it's like oh i don't like that but in reality, it's a normal thing. And what one has to do is they have to self-reflect to heal, to overcome. And allow themselves to not only go through each of the emotions. How did I feel here? What, this, that, etc. Did I feel powerless? Did I feel uh, not good enough? Did I feel... What's some other words that people tend to say? Uh, some people say they feel... Um, like for me, when it came to that situation... Indirectly, I think I did feel a bit powerless in certain areas, as well as in the past, I did kind of fear Dana. Like, Dana was the reason why I got a gun and things like that, and that's the one, like, I'm just saying. Because the way she was, she was just so toxic. But, I mean, all of them were toxic. But Dana was the only one that I saw in person that would actually stalk me in person, so it was like, mm. 
And, like, I was, like, is she gonna, like, try to, like, break into the house or something? Like, I can't actually, I, I cannot see that. I cannot see Dana actually breaking into a house. I could see Melanie doing that. Oh, yeah, I could see that with her. Wish. She's destructive. But, um, I could so, like, so see that with Melanie, but not Dana. But the thing is, it's, like, you know, it's, like, mm. <laughs> sure, bro. But I also realized that because of that situation, I would push away certain people that are actually good for me and what I mean by that is they would give really good advice and by the way the people I'm talking about they're all women so <laughs> but just so you know um the only male figure I had that was actually awesome truly awesome is the Lord Jesus Christ because he has healed so much for me Woo! thank the Lord truly thank thee the Lord um but it's just so beautiful. And I just felt like I had to share this. Because shall a lot of people watch it or not. I don't know. Maybe it might help you. Because you need to self reflect. Because when I self reflect. It helps me to not only understand myself better. But to feel the emotions. And not be ashamed to feel the intense emotions. That I would keep inside. That I don't want to feel. That I don't want to deal with. Because we need to deal with that. To not only grow to become a better person. But just overall to not be toxic because if you're in that toxic mind state, you can actually push away good people, not good people, nice people. I know I use the word good sometimes, but I don't mean I, when I say good, I don't mean it in the context of not a good. No, not one. I'm not talking about in that type of aspect. I'm talking about someone who can help you become a better person. That's why I mean my good. But yeah, not a good. No, not one. Just so you know. The scripture state as it is. So let me rephrase that. Sometimes you will push away nice people that can help you grow into a better person. And it's kind of like the, there was this one woman that sometimes I talked to her here and there. And she would say certain things. And I'm like, man, why you gotta say that? And then like, because, and I'm like, you're making me feel emotional, man. But it's like true because she would say something and it would literally like, it wouldn't like stab me in the heart. But it would be like, it, it would like poke. And it's like, ooh. And like I, when it does that, it's like, it's like I'm taking that in and releasing whatever emotion or situation that was that correlates onto that like secretly i'm just releasing it while also saying <laughs> you're making me feel emotional man no but literally it's i actually love that I, that's one of the things i love about her because it's like like i i do love her she's awesome she's awesome and like she has helped me grow so much like not only her there, there was a lot of people there's a lot of people there is they're all women though o other than the lord jesus christ Ooh, <laughs> what the Lord has done for me. Yo, awesome. But literally, though, uh, I love her so much because she has, like, she would just say a lot of, like, actual things that I needed to hear. And it, it sometimes it would rub me the wrong way, but it it was, like, a good type of rub because it was, like, no, you need to, like... Because even though she probably has no idea, like, because sometimes she would look at me like, what what do you mean? You're getting <laughs> emotional. <laughs> But it's like, no, like, this is a form of self-respect, uh, <laughs> self-respect, no, um, it's a form of, actually, it's self-respect if you are reflecting on yourself and your situation, because to respect yourself means to also take care of yourself. To take care of yourself, you need to introspect. You have to look in and go, where else do I need to heal, does that, et cetera. And uh, a lot of people don't do that. It's it's sad. Because there's different forms of self-respect. That's one of them. <laughs> you need to self-reflect, man. But yeah. Um, I'm, I'm grateful. Like, it, it's kind of like, same thing. Like, sometimes my past therapist. This was years ago when I had her as a therapist. This other woman. Um, but this, the, the therapist. She would say things that would also rub me the wrong way. But it was something I needed to hear. So, when I was ready, it's like, oh, this, that, etc. And with the other woman I was talking about, where, like, I think I spoke to her, like, when, last week or something? Last week or two weeks ago? I can't remember. But she would say certain things, and it's like, boom. And then, like, uh, another one that I talked to, Sam. Um, Sam's cool. She's really cool. 
uh, she would say certain things, and indirectly, I would just like self uh, self reflect. A so, bleh. I can't speak sometimes. <laughs> I would self reflect, and uh, it's like, oh, like there's so many women that are like, it's probably because they're more mature than I am. Like I'm only 25, and most of them are like 30 plus. 30 plus is not old. 40 plus is not old. 50, mm, push it. In. <laughs> 60. You're getting there. 70, you're pretty old. You're almost ancient, man. Nah, ancient's like 90. <laughs> 90 plus. <laughs> no, but literally, though, like, dude. I'm like, man. So much of, like, just. That's what people need to do, to be honest. It is. I mean, that's why it's also in scripture, to examine yourself. Reflecting back and this, that, etc. It means to also examine yourself. Like God says it right there. I feel like a lot of people take it for granted in the aspect of, Oh yeah, when I read the scriptures, it also hits me too. Or well, if I'm saying something, it also hits me too. But the way that a lot of them are using it is a way to either straw man or just to be like, to get you to stop talking. They use it as a manipula uh, manipulative tactic to get you to just drop something. That's why if someone does something, they say, oh, just drop it, this, that, etc. But they never actually state sorry. That says a lot more about them. And that they're probably toxic. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I have fully like let go of that past situation that correlates onto Dane and all the talking, this, that, etc. Because now, as I'm speaking about it, I'm not getting angry, I'm not getting anxious, I'm not getting stressed out, or anything of that sort. It's, I'm, I'm finally free from that situation. And, whoo! It's amazing. And granted, there's still gonna be, like, you're gonna still feel, like, emotions on certain things. Like, let's say a, a new uh, perspective or something, and you're just gonna go, and you're going to feel that bit of emotion, but that in itself is a release. And it's just so beautiful. So yeah, thank you for listening, if you do. And uh, have a good day, rest of the week, you know.